TFL EV is brought to you by Flow Charger, maker of reliable, high-quality charging stations for your electric vehicle. Just a few months ago, I was in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan with an electrified version of a heavy-duty pickup truck. And you guys made many comments and questions on that video, and you said, Andre, you're driving a four-wheel drive truck in snow, big deal. How about you tow with it? Well, in this video, I'm here at the Magna event in Michigan once again with a 10,000-pound trailer. You saw it right there. And this, the intelligence system on the new full-size heavy-duty pickup truck. Let me show you the truck first, and then we're gonna go on a couple of loops of this track, and I'll show you exactly how it tows. Of course, you may recognize this truck. It started as a GMC heavy-duty AT4 off-road truck. Let me pop the hood and show you what's going on up front. Um, same size, obviously, as any GMC 2500 type truck. It started as a gas-powered version, so it used to have a V8. And now this is a demonstration vehicle for the latest technology from Magna. Uh, obviously, this is no longer the uh, gasoline V8. Uh, they have what they call the EDS Mid Plus electric motor. On top here, you see the charger box, level 2 charger. So in the last video, some of you mentioned, what is this? Um, is this the battery under the hood? No, the battery is not under the hood. The, uh, under the hood, there is a still a lot more space, obviously, in this transmission tunnel. Uh, but also, you can see radiators. Uh, you have a 12-volt system, of course, for other features. Uh, but the whole thing about this particular vehicle here, it's a demonstrator of what's possible. Stock suspension, still torsion beam up front, um, and can charge at level 2 capability. And the battery itself is actually midship, so it's underneath. Let me show you, you can see that very large um, enclosure. And actually Magna builds enclosures for the current production Hummer EV truck and also the F-150 Lightning EV truck. That is not that enclosure. <laughs> That's an enclosure specific for this demonstration truck. But I think the, uh, the crown jewel of this technology is actually in the rear here. So if you get underneath this truck, you can see the E-beam axle. So what this is, is really a heavy duty axle, but instead of the differential, it actually has the electric motor assembly built into it. And you can actually see a cutaway of it as well. And uh, total power of this truck with the front motor and the rear is over 500 horsepower. So it's more power than is available currently in a turbo diesel version of this uh, vehicle, for example. Um, lots of torque, electric motors are known for that. Uh, so that's basically what the truck is. Let me show you inside and let's go for a drive. Ah, okay, finally, back in this truck. So it looks a little bit like a test vehicle. Obviously, there's some emergency cutoff uh, switches. Um, it's got a main controller unit here. Um, and you can actually control how the four-wheel drive system works in many different ways. Uh, we're not going to be super focused on that, but what I want to show you is the gauge cluster. The real good thing is how the Magna team actually integrated the gauges. Of course, there is a speedometer and a shift indicator here, but actually it's a single uh, gear transmission, so to speak, because the motors are controlled independently and, of course, together. Um, and here you have your power um, output and also regen. You have rear-wheel drive, front-wheel drive. You have your motor temps, your battery temps. Uh, and state of charge, and it all looks kind of standard, which is cool. So let's go over what does a pickup truck require to be a true, in this case, heavy-duty truck. Well, it has to have capability, bar none. Uh, the payload on this demo vehicle is comparable to another 2500 truck that's out there. The gross combined weight rating and the tow rating of about 14,500 pounds is still here so it kind of checks the boxes of what a current heavy duty pickup can do as far as at least payload and towing capability speed and acceleration well let me show you how it behaves right here at the test track my ac is on so it feels good and i'm about to launch on the m1 track um, in a fully dressed heavy duty pickup with 10,000 pounds in tow uh, this is kind of my first experience on a a proper racetrack towing a trailer 
Um, last time, in the last video that we did, that I showed you from the Upper Peninsula, you guys were talking about you know all the other attributes of a heavy-duty pickup truck. Uh, long range, ability to charge with a pull through. Um, and of course, I'm not evaluating that today. What I'm evaluating here is the capability of the truck where I can accelerate a little bit. If you heard the clunk, it's really the pintle hitch that's moving around. Um, and I'm trying to hit my apexes. <laughs> and there's some obstacles here too. I am in tow mode. You can see it right here on the screen. Uh, the team at Magna have been uh, playing around with this demo truck. Now I'm gonna kind of accelerate, kind of full speed. I'm using at least, you know, over 500 horsepower here. You can see the power is building pretty linearly, actually very confidence inspiring. Obviously this is still a pretty hefty truck. It weighs maybe uh, several hundred pounds more than a comparable gasoline power truck would be with a V8. I am using some brake, uh, or at least applying the brake pedal. So uh, regen capability is also here, putting the energy back into the pack. And of course, uh, we can do other videos. Yes, the network, the charging network across the country must be updated for trucks and trailers where you can pull through. Um, charging capability or the quickness of charge is also very important where uh, you have to you know charge a large battery this demo truck has about 80 to 85 kilowatt hours of battery so this is not a long-range truck this is just a demo um, but of course it just shows how an existing truck could be really changed and updated to for electrification with minimal component changes right the front suspension is stock the rear suspension is stock the capability is stock we're towing 10,000 pounds, but this truck is rated to tow up to about 14,500 pounds. So once again, steering feels great. The suspension feels great. Um, obviously this truck could take a little bit more weight if it uh, really had to. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. So let's go outside and so we can finish this video. This is the heaviest I've ever towed with an electric pickup. I've done about 5,000 pounds with a Tesla Model X. I've done about 80, 100 pounds with a Rivian truck. Now 10,000 pounds here. I can tell you there's still plenty of punch left in electric motors. Of course, they're still challenged by continuous draw. For example, if you're climbing grade, uh, like the I Gauntlet in Colorado, it's gonna be difficult on the motor as well as the battery system. And of course, the inverter system that transfers the power from AC to DC. Um, and back. So, so yeah, I cannot test a mountain climb right now. Um, that's coming up still in the next video. Uh, but what I can tell you, regen on this truck works quite well. I can come into some corners here at the track without applying the brake. And at other corners that are sharper, I did apply my brake, but I knew a lot of that energy is still going into the battery. I'm not wasting a lot of that slow down energy which is really important especially at going down a mountain when you need controllable way of descending a hill and finally the challenges that you pointed out stuff like what's the range can i go 300 miles with a trailer how fast can i charge well i wasn't able to really show you that today that's still upcoming um, and a system like this will probably be you know, Magna is not saying, of course, but my take is the system like this could be in production within two to three years, potentially, in a production heavy-duty pickup. So by then, we'll need bigger batteries, we'll need better charging with trailers, and so on. As always, this is Andre for TFL Truck. Go to alltfl.com for everything automotive and much more brand new pickups reviews.